Last year, up at this time, I told you all of the reasons why I believe Colleyville was and is exceptional. And today I'm happy to report once again that Colleyville has had another exceptional year. I hope to show you about that. In 2018, Colleyville grew to more than 26,000 residents, welcomed many new businesses, and witnessed the expansion of several existing businesses. We celebrated a number of milestones. We saw progress on Highway 26. We adopted the effective tax rate, which I'm very proud of. And we celebrated the 15th anniversary of the Colleyville Public Library. Now at the foundation of Colleyville's success, it's a conservative approach to managing taxpayers' money, and that would be your money. This is accomplished by establishing a balanced budget where expenses never exceed revenue generated. I told you last year at this time, the City Council's goal for fiscal year 2019 was to establish a budget that did not collect any more property taxes from you than what was collected in the previous year, and at the same time while maintaining all the city services and quality of life that you, the citizens, expect. And again, I'm happy to report to you that we did just that. This was done by adopting the effective property tax rate. As this slide says, the effective tax rate produces the same revenue in FY 2019 as was produced in FY 2018. Now you might say, well, what does that mean to me? This means that on average, the Colleyville component of your tax bill is approximately the same dollar amount as last year, even though the property values in Colleyville have gone up approximately 8%, which they have done over the last several years, which is good because that means we're economically very viable and successful. You know, the council could have gone with the nutritional mo traditional model of keeping the same tax rate with the implication that your taxes did not go up because the tax rate did not go up. However, that would have resulted in an 8% increase in your personal property tax bill because property values went up 8%. You can see that's true because uh, revenue is a product of tax rate times home value. So in our model, we lowered the tax rate to offset the growth in home values. As you can see in this slide, as property values go up, the tax rate must go down to maintain constant revenue. Simply stated, constant revenue means no increase in your city property tax. We are proud to have the second lowest property tax rate in the area, and this holds true even when taken into consideration factors such as homestead exemptions, which have been touted by other communities as a property tax reduction. Remember, the city is only 14% of your total tax bill. As this slide indicates, the largest portion is the school district, as is the case in most cities, so this is not unusual at all. So while your overall property tax may have increased, we've done what we can to limit the financial burden on the Colleyville residents. I will say our conservative management approach to earn Colleyville an invitation to the seat at the table with Governor Abbott's team that wrote his tax reduction legislation. So I received a personal invitation that did one of the mayor and a county judge to meet three times in a very small meeting with the staff, governor's staff that was writing the legislation to get a preview and give them advice in our p position on the, uh, what they were writing. So we did, uh, tell them several things. I can tell you this. One of the things we told them was that the tax reduction legislation had to include the elimination or at a minimum significant reduction of the burden of Robin Hood on schools and taxpayers. This does require the state to increase their percentage of funding to schools considerably. And so that's what they're trying to move ahead on. Next month, the Texas Municipal League will feature an article authored by Assistant City Manager Adrian Lothry outlining Colleyville's financial strategy we're discussing today. It's well written, easy to understand, and I would love for all of you to be able to see it when it comes out. So we're going to put it on the uh, Colleyville's website, colleyville.com, when it's published in March. Please take a look at it. I will tell you that adopting the effective tax rate when property values are rising is not an easy task to accomplish. While health care and other costs continue to rise at considerable levels, our city leaders and staff had to look for ways to keep expenses within the revenue available. 
Over the last year, city employees have focused on efficiency and sustainability in their jobs and have saved taxpayers nearly $1 million on the expense side of the budget. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I do that. I do that. <laughs> Examples of these efficiencies include combining related positions into one row, like the Parks and Recreation Director, utilizing staff skills to perform projects instead of contract workers, and combining construction building projects to maximize volume discount pricing. This was accomplished while maintaining and in some areas enhancing services to our residents. So I'm proud of them. City departments now are now actively seeking grant opportunities to ensure property taxes stay low while still accomplishing the goals of each department. City staff has been busy. They've submitted nearly $10 million in grant funding requests and have netted $2 million for Cheeksburger, $1.2 million for Glade Road, $700,000 for Highway 26, and anticipates bike trail funding this summer. Also, our police officers received a grant for ballistic vests that protect them from rifle rounds. That's not the standard bulletproof vest, that's a special one. And our fire department anticipates grant funding for the purchase of an emergency response trailer. The city council has clearly placed a high priority on the pursuit of funds for projects including roads, trails, sidewalks, community events, and first responder personnel. Our very conservative fiscal strategy and budget management ensures that expenditures are focused on citizens' priorities and that, maxim, that the maximum value is squeezed from every dollar spent. In addition, this approach has allowed Colleyville to maintain a AAA bond rating. That's the highest crediting rating attainable and an achievement that few cities are able to reach and maintain. So Colleyville's done that for a number of years. 